Today we embark on a journey to uncover scrapped characters from the Super Smash Bros. series. In the last video I showed you four characters from Super Smash Bros. 64, and today we tackle Super Smash Bros. Melee for the GameCube. To say there are more characters that were scrapped in this game is an understatement. In the game there are 24 fighters to choose from, a big jump from the 12 that were in the first game. Unlike Smash 64, when it comes to scrapped characters, not all of them were later introduced in one of the sequels. There are, in fact, 14 scrapped characters from this game, and only 4 of them were unscrapped later on. So let's start with characters that were almost included to represent the NES era of games, like the Ice Climbers. Originally, Balloon Fighter, a fighter from Urban Champion, Bubbles from Clue Clue Land, and Excite Biker almost made it into the game. The next, and I know I'm gonna get comments for butchering this name, Ayuma Tachibana from Famicom Detective Club. Smash Bros. series creator Masahiro Sakurai stated in an interview years later that this series was very unfamiliar and not very recognizable for international players, scrapping her from production but making her a trophy. Next is Lucas from Mother 3, who was going to have his debut in Super Smash Bros. Melee instead of Smash Bros. Brawl. However, when Mother 3 was cancelled on the N64, it was decided to keep Ness over him. Then moving right along, we have Solid Snake. Kojima, the creator of Metal Gear Solid, is close friends with Sakurai, and when he asked Sakurai to add Solid Snake to the game, it was too late because the game was far into development, and he was scrapped until the third sequel. With a very similar story and situation is Sonic the Hedgehog. Due to the restricted timetable, he was scrapped, but added like Snake in Brawl. Yuji Naka, the former head of Sonic Team, stated that Sonic was strongly considered early on. And of course, there is the infamous Sonic and Tails and Goku hoax, but I'll save that for another video. Sakurai said in a questionnaire that if he had more time to develop Melee and could only add one character, that would have been Wario, who was strongly considered for this game, but was scrapped and once again added to Brawl. Also during the questionnaire, Sakurai stated he wanted Takamaru in the game, but had not received his own game in years and was somewhat obscure. He also apparently really loved Mach Rider and insisted he was in the game for the sole purpose of liking his name. I know I'm throwing these quickly, but we are now down to our last few. But before we get to them, I just wanted to let you guys know that it's looking like we're hitting our mini giveaway goal very, very soon. I'll be announcing the giveaway on the Crisscross Media Instagram, so make sure to join the Crisscross crew if you like to enter. Thank you. Now back to the list. It's two characters that really threw me off. One of which I'm really hoping to see in the series one day, fingers crisscrossed for it to be an ultimate, and that is Banjo and Kazooie. However, after Microsoft acquired Rareware Studios, it collected all of its intellectual properties, including Lanky, Chunky, and Tiny Kong, whom were traded back to Nintendo for Banjo and Kazooie. Due to copyright issues at the time, these two were scrapped from the game, so they were no longer considered for the Super Smash Bros. series. And lastly, and this I cannot believe, but James Bond. Yep, 007 from GoldenEye. There were concerns over for Bond's realistic weapons, which is understandable, also noting that the game was again owned by Rareware Studios, and that there was rumored legal issues requiring rights from the film series, as well as the actor's likeness. With all these stacking issues, James Bond was scrapped from Super Smash Bros. Melee, and the rest was history. And that is all the scrapped characters from Super Smash Bros. Melee for the Nintendo GameCube. Let me know which one of these scrapped fighters is your favorite for the question of the day and if you wanted to see them in any future Smash Bros. title. And in the last episode, I asked you guys what you thought of the scrapped characters from Smash 64. And a huge thank you to everyone who commented with a special highlight to these four awesome people. Well, guys, I think that just about does it. I'm battling a cold if you can't tell from my voice. Meanwhile, I'm just going to play some Break the Targets until Super Smash Bros. Ultimate comes out. Once Again, guys, thank you for joining the Crisscross crew and a big hey and hello to all the new members once again over on Instagram, Twitter, and our Discord. Until next time, my name is Chris, and you have just been Crisscrossed. Peace out.